All right, so you're looking to pick up your first automatic watch. Well, congratulations. That's honestly a big step in the watch collecting world, but what do you choose, right? Because there's so many watches out there and there's so much information out there. What the heck is going on? Well, don't freak out, okay? I'm here to help you. You'll probably want something rugged, reliable, versatile. It's gotta look good, and honestly, it's gotta be affordable. Well, how does under $100 sound? It's 2.41 p.m. Let's get down to business. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So I get this question all the time, guys. People wanna know what's the best beginner's watch? Uh, what's the best first automatic watch? You know, maybe people are looking for a gift to give someone else, or maybe they just want a really solid watch that can be their own first automatic. Well, I think the Seiko 5 SNK 809 should be the first place you look, and here's why. This watch has a 37 millimeter case, which means it's not too big for the majority of people out there. Now. I'm a huge dude with seven and a half inch wrists, but honestly, smaller people than me, even younger people, kids, even women can pull this watch off with no issue whatsoever. Now let's get up close and look at the dial because I think it's really interesting. As you can see, bordering the dial are the minutes very clearly and legibly displayed. And then inside of that circle are the hour Arabics, just a very fun, clear way of displaying the time. Now, one of the best things about really any Seiko watch is Seiko's Luma Bright Loom. I mean, it just shines in low light situations uh, honestly, probably the best loom out there. And this watch is no different. You can take a look at the very sharp hands and the very subtle loom indexes. It just pops in low light situations. Very fun to look at. Now with this watch, you are getting a day and a date window. Honestly, day date functions, probably the most useful complication a watch can have, in my opinion, because you're gonna use it every day. So when we're taking a look at this watch's case, you'll notice the four o'clock crown. Uh, very uniquely Seiko in design, but also the crown is tucked away, so there's very little chance you're gonna to knock it and break off the stem. Uh, just a very nice design. So now I'm gonna take the watch off my wrist and we're gonna take a look at the case back. So this has what we call a display case back. You can see the entirety of the movement from the back of the watch. Now I think it's so cool that Seiko chose to use a display case back on this watch because bottom line, I love display case backs, but also let's say this is your first automatic watch. Let's say you're a beginner to the whole watch collecting world. This is a great way to learn about how your automatic watch works. Now, speaking of all the inner workings of the watch, this watch has the 7S26 movement, and I know people are going to say, oh, that movement's outdated, doesn't have hacking, it doesn't have hand wind. Well, to a beginner watch enthusiast, those functions aren't really going to matter. Bottom line, it's reliable, it works, it's solid, it's not going to break on you, and it's a great starting point when it comes to automatic watches. So overall, guys, honestly, I'm a huge fan of the Seiko 5 SNK 809. It's rugged, it's reliable, it's versatile, it looks good and honestly I've given so many of these away as gifts and I haven't heard of a single problem with one of them now is it the most complicated watch out there no is it the most refined watch out there no but I'd be really hard-pressed to find a better watch for under a hundred dollars all right guys and there it is thank you so much for tuning in to the Monday episode I hope this episode helped you out a bit especially if you're looking to pick up your first automatic watch now guys sound off in the comment section do you have one of these let me know how you like it i'd love to hear from you and as always i want to thank you so much for checking out the time teller shop i add new watches and watch accessories to that store daily you can even find the seiko snk 809 in all the different colors so click the link in the description below shop around it really does help the channel out a ton and if you're new here maybe this is your first time joining us here on the time teller channel i want to say welcome thank you so much for stopping by and i want to urge you to consider clicking that subscribe button okay it takes one second helps me out a ton and while you're at it go ahead click that bell icon because youtube doesn't always do a good job notifying my subscribers when I upload so when you click that bell icon you will not miss an episode of the time teller there's just so much more awesome content on the way you don't want to miss it guys please like comment and subscribe share this with other watch enthusiasts other people that you think would enjoy this I'm Jory Goodman the time teller and always remember I didn't invent time I just tell it